And Israel means those who wrestle with God. And then that's so, that blew me away. That's, that's one of the things I love about studying old stories is now and then you come across a piece of one and you, and you see in and into it. And the idea that that's what characterizes the true people of God is that willingness to wrestle. That's really something because it, 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 it kind of indicates that you're here as a contender, you know? You're not here to be happy. You're not here to be complacent. You're not here to be materially satisfied. Not that that would be possible anyways, but that you're here to contend with the structure of reality, right? And that's what'll satisfy you because there's something to you. You know, you're not weak and nothing. There's something to you. There's certainly something malevolent and terrible. I mean, you know that. You look at how people behave. You, you look at the blood and catastrophe of our history. You can certainly see the, the absolute the absolute hellish depths of the human soul, but there's, there's something that takes root in that and grows up out of that that's absolutely magnificent beyond belief and that's looking for, for to contend. You know, and I've often thought that I've been fortunate in my marriage because you think, well, you, got, you get married and you live happily ever after. It's like... That's not it, is it? You don't want that even. You know what? What do you want? We want you no. Know, it, it solidifies their life, and so you want to contend with them. You know, to some degree, if you have a choice, you know, it's not that uncommon that what we'll do is choose to be pushed to the limit, especially when we're at our best. We think, well, where's the limit? It's here. 